name's Noe. I'm Emily. And you're cruising with us. Through life. Through YouTube. Literally. Tea? Yeah, pass me some tea from my Bucky's cup. With a Bucky shirt. Are you advertising yeah. Bucky's? No, but can I please have some more tea? I'm gonna wear a Bucky shirt. <laughs> Are you for real right now? Uh oh. Hurry up! I need some tea, aka water, even though we have a bunch of alcohol in the back. Thanks. It came up through the straw. What? Hmm? I said you're weird. I'm not weird. Oh, you're so staged. How am I staged? <gasps> Whoopsie! Hey, a battery. A GoPro mount. Oh, I'm fat. Let's get over. I don't have my phone. You don't need your phone. Go! <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's video is gonna be about one of our excursions that we did on our first cruise out of Galveston, going to Honduras, Belize, and Cozumel. And we're gonna be talking about our Belize tour and what we did, and I will put a picture right there covering Noe's face um, telling you guys what exact tour it was it was called a uh, sharks rays and snorkel tour something like that um, it was our first cruise and it looked cool so we booked it before our cruise um, I've heard that excursions are cheaper if you book before you board onto onto your cruise so that is what we did before our cruise so we actually booked a carnival excursion for all three ports and our total amount was over six hundred dollars quite expensive knowing that we were doing so much on our first cruise and it was super expensive we didn't know what to expect we didn't know what about these excursions? We've ne I never researched them. I wish I would have. Um, all, all three of them we did not have a single problem with. And we truly enjoyed that cruise and all our excursions that we did. I will link below our YouTube video for our honeymoon cruise, which is the first cruise that we did, which is where we did the excursion that we're going to be talking about. Belize was our second port. It was... Are you sure? Yes, it was Cozumel, then Belize, then, and then okay, yeah, it was. Now I think they're doing it backwards. They're doing it Mahogany Bay, which is Honduras, Belize, and then Cozumel. So instead of two, instead of one sea day, and then you start, start, start port in two sea days at the end. Lately, they've been doing it backwards, where you do two sea days in the front, and then you do you do Honduras, Ma Ma Honduras, Belize, and then Cozumel. And then one sea day and your vacation is over. Yep. So Belize, it was our second port. It was our I thought it would be I thought it was gonna be our most scariest tour because it said sharks. And stingrays. And snorkeling. We it turned never, out pretty pretty cool. Yeah, we had never snorkeled before, so so first of all you gotta wake up early because when you Very get your tickets early. you get your tickets the day before and they tell you i don't you, think it was the day before or maybe it's a couple days before they stick them in your mailbox and we literally i think we got all three excursions like a movie ticket kind of deal about this big and they had them in your mailbox and then it actually told you where to go like and your what meeting day point. and stuff like that so and what time so yeah i believe we met like uh eight in the morning 
stop it. <laughs> Tickets will be left in your mailboxes. They come in a little like movie ticket kind of deal and it says like a lot of description of your excursion and it has some details where you're supposed to go and at what time so you need to make sure you follow those times very correctly because you will be boarding onto boats tendering to wherever you're going so this case Belize is a tender port so you do have to take a boat off the boat to get to the port so um that's how we started our excursion was we got on the regular tender boat I mean other people were on it it was just all our people from our excursion were on that boat which I thought was kind of like shouldn't we be on a earlier boat but I mean who am I to say that Pain. why you're so oh I should have been on my own boat yeah because we're on an excursion who cares they have to take everybody from the boat okay hurry up no you're being mean you're being mean i'm not being mean. you're being like stuck up you're not, not stuck, stuck up. up yeah you are you're like i think i should have my own boat and you got off a ship to get to a boat <laughs> Continue where you left off. No, you continue. Where would you left off? The tendering. So you tender to the port of Belize, which is, let me see what actual place it is. Let's see. You can't be doing that on the middle of the video. Yes, you can. No, it's not good to be on your phone during the middle of the video. Belize, Cozumel. I mean. <laughs> it's not Belize, Cozumel. Belize Carnival. Carnival Cruise and Green Point. Mm hmm I think you port in Belize City. I don't know. We might need to figure that out. So where do you tender from to? You go from the Carnival ship boat. No ship to Belize City, and once you get off on Belize City, there's terminals on where the different boats dock, I guess. And we followed a lady with a number, and it said, um, I believe it didn't say the excursion, but it had the number, and we were given that number when we met before we got onto the tender. And that lady took us to a sh little boat. Like a, what'd you call it? A tendering, like it's like a tendering boat too. I thought you called it something else. It's like a small boat. But it holds a lot of people. I had to look back at the footage because I was estimating 40 to 50 people and you estimated more than 20. So, I don't know. but I think there was almost 40 to 50 people on this weird it looked kind of it was small but it was sturdy i mean can i say a boat was sturdy i don't know but it looked okay to me and it wasn't run down or anything like that it was buoyant what's that <laughs> it can float oh, okay yeah it floats i guess that's all <laughs> i guess that's what really matters if you get on a boat in a foreign country that you've never been to. So we get on this boat and the guys are very um, like informative, not informative, but they're very, they were talking a lot, talkative, but they were in a good way. Like they're entertaining. They, and they had rum punch. That was later on. Oh. <laughs> Well, First of all, they didn't have rum punch right away. They got everybody together. They made sure everybody was there. They made sure that if you needed a life jacket, it was going to be... They did explain it's going to be a 45-minute boat ride. Which to, we had no idea about. It was not in the comments or I didn't really research. Oh, you're going to get on a... I figured we were just going to like, whoop, we're there to the excursion. Let's swim with these sharks and stingrays. But it was not like that. You have to tender 45 minutes out of Belize City to get to these islands. I know people talk about Kay Cocker, Kay Cal Cal Walker or something like that. And they say it's really pretty. I honestly do not know what island 
we ended up at, but was it in an island? Mm -hmm. Is it the one where we ate or that was a different island? Same so it's the same island. island? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. But it was really small and it didn't look like there was a beach. No. Right? Not really. So welcome back to our channel and we are going to talk about some of the excursions that we have booked through Carnival before. Um, the very one we're going to talk about today is one that we booked through Belize or for the port of Belize. And I believe that was our second port for our seven day cruise out of Galveston. We were on the Carnival Wonderful Breeze, which was beautiful. We do have an extra uh, video before this one that explains um, little tips on what we didn't know about our first cruise on the Carnival Breeze. As so, well as an overview of our whole seven day cruise. Yeah, so it will be linked below. So before we get further, make sure you like, share, and comment, subscribe. subscribe, follow, whatever you call it, YouTube us. And go to Bucky's. Support Bucky's. And eat Chick-fil-A. Okay, ready? Chick-fil-A mayo. Okay, go. So, Belize was our second stop out of three um, ports. So, the way we did this cruise... <laughs> what was that? Take two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. So on the cruise that we took out of Galveston, it was a seven day cruise, but the way it started was, it was a one day sea day, then it was three boom, boom, ports boom. in a row. Cozumel, Belize, and then Honduras. Mahogany, Mahogany Bay. Mahogany Bay. And then it was two days, sea day. So we're gonna talk about Belize, particular Belize. Um, Belize is a tender port. First of all, it's a tender port, but we did swimming with sharks, sharks rays, rays, and reefs, stuff snorkel, like snorkel, snorkel, some, something like From that. From Carnival.com excursions. So, like we said on our previous video, we were newbies to cruising, so we booked everything on our first cruise through Carnival. Um, of course, it is a little bit pricier, but... $600. Not for this excursion, for all our excursions. For three excursions. For three excursions and three ports, which is not too bad, depending on what you price range. Well, 600 bucks for three days is not bad. We did a lot of stuff. I'm not saying that. We did a lot of stuff. No, but you got so mad when I showed you the bill. <laughs> You did. Well, because it was a lot, but I mean, we did do a lot though. Like, yeah, we did do a lot. Like, yes, it was our honeymoon and we were already tired as our wedding was literally the night before the cruise. And we got home maybe at three, three o'clock in the morning, two thirty, three, And, and then we slept for like, no, we slept like for like 20, 30, minutes. 45 minutes. And then we drove six hours. But anyway, that's not about this is about. Belize tour, sharks, stingrays, reefs, and snorkeling. So, yeah. first thing you gotta know is that you get your tickets when you book through Carnival in your room mailbox. Mail so we get it what, like maybe- I don't remember what first, day we got it. First sea day maybe, you get it, they give it to you, they leave your tickets there, they leave it in a little envelope. Um, then it tells you place and time that you have to meet because there's a lot of other people who are going on the same tour as you depending how booked it is so we had to meet where we i don't, don't remember, remember where we had to meet <laughs> it was somewhere in a restaurant I, yeah i think it was in one of the main dining rooms that we all met and then they just took us to the i believe deck zero no yeah, or no deck three because that's where you tender off yeah something like something that. like that and you get on a regular tender boat. It doesn't, it was, the water was not choppy at all. It was just like, uh, it was a really nice ride if, uh, my opinion, I don't know if other people don't like the tendering, but it is like a 20, 30 minute tender to Belize port itself. So it's not. It doesn't feel that long. I didn't though. even know that. 
I mean, this was our first cruise. We didn't know that. So we just hopped on it because they told us to. And I figured, oh, we're going to go to the Sharks already. I thought once we got onto the boat. Once we got onto the boat that takes us from Belize City to the island, um, they load everybody up. It's probably around, like we said earlier, maybe 20 to 50 people, depending how many people book the tour and depending the size of boat. Um, on ours, I believe it was more than probably 40 people on there. So it is a passenger boat, but it can handle it. Um, after that, we took off to the island that we did not know it was going to take 45 minutes to get to, but 45 minutes. It was not a bad ride, though. The guys were very informative. They told us about the islands. They told us about what was history, going on. History. About the rich islands. Yeah, that people from America are apparently buying some of those islands to retire on. So Belize is getting them prepared for that. Um, how they're rebuilding some of the city that um, Belize City apparently used to be the capital of Belize and then they moved it further inland that it got destroyed by a hurricane back in the history and anyway so they give all that How do you remember this? They tell us all of that on the boat ride and then we get to some the, island Apparently it's some good island that a lot of people dock there we get on the pier and then you walk straight to the pier and into a restaurant. And they gave us equipment there, no? That's where we met with other boats there and I believe they gave us equipment. They gave us everything we needed. The snorkel, your flippers. Snorkel, flippers. The life jackets were already on the boat so you didn't have to. Um, each person well, had the one mask. underneath the seat. The mask and the slippers. The mask and the... Flippers! <laughs> Nobody Not caught slippers. that. Mm -hmm. Slippers. You're gonna go snorkeling with slippers. Okay. So, okay, so by the way, on the way to the island, they do give you a menu for the restaurant that is right there on the island. Um, you can be prepared what you're gonna order. So, you can be prepared what you're gonna order. Actually, they take our order, remember? Because when we I go. I remember that. Like, yeah, they take our order because when you go snorkeling, they prepare the food. So, when you're done, you actually sit down and they have. All your tables numbered by, or, by yes. name. By you, name. You, we wrote it in a clipboard, and yeah. whatever number we were, and what we what uh, each item on the menu was numbered. So you put, um, I wanted number one and five, and then that that's our line. Like let's say our number was eighteen, we would go sit at table eighteen, and they would bring our order of number whatever. I think it had our last name too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think it was name? our last name. Our last we, name too. we would like walk around looking for our last name on the table and they had like last names written with numbers and stuff and then they would Pretty be organized, like but yeah. it was just to make the process smoother yeah so during those 45 minute boat rides you place your order you let the guys know um just heads up we did not know this and this is just you know lunch not getting, is not included lunch is not included it is extra and it is kind of pricey um another thing we did not know was that you don't necessarily have to eat there um, two girls that were on the boat ride with or or the excursion with us, they told us that they actually left the, uh, the little restaurant. They walked a little further down the island. There was like a place that they got um, sandwiches. Sorry, I'm boring my wife. I'm not boring. I'm tired. But anyways. So anyway, so yeah, we did not know that you could uh, eat somewhere else. I believe. I mean... We did not confirm ourselves that you don't have to order or anything. We did not want to chance it, so we just ordered from them. Because that's Food what was we ready. thought we were supposed to do. Food was ready when we got there. Um, you do have to pay. Some people tried walking out of the restaurant not knowing that you had to pay, and they ended up having a big bill that they didn't know about. Um, some they guy were following them. Yeah, some guy. Well, you can't really leave the island, but like. Some guy and his family, I believe their bill came out to like $120 and he was like not expecting that to be um, part of their bill. So, uh, positive, food was ready. Negative, kind of pricey. pricey yeah. yeah. So, and the food was not like the best, the best where we said, oh my gosh, we definitely have to go back to that island and eat because we've been to other places where it's like that. <sighs> Let's get to the rum punch part. Now we talk about actually going to our reef. And Emily will pick up off of there. So I think we, what you once you do all like the ordering with your 
with the restaurant you get your flippers get back on the boat and it's like maybe a five to ten minute boat ride to this reef that we're going to um they did tell us it was like the second largest in the world um compared to australia so we were really excited it sounded really exciting we really liked the excursion overall but um so i had never snorkeled before and i don't really know how to comprehend when it comes to breathing because i just have to breathe the way i breathe and you're gonna tell me how to breathe a different way i'm gonna freak out so the instructors were the guides were very very informative they were very helpful they didn't make me feel um like left out they actually separate they said oh if you're experienced get in the water by yourself whatever if you're a beginner stay with me we'll go with you and i really appreciate that because it was our my first time and my husband's first time so um once we did that we went into the reef we snorkeled the water was pretty deep and you can see in our youtube video that it looked pretty deep i want to say it was maybe 15 to 20 feet deep um so we did have life jackets on just for safety precaution um it's not mandatory if you don't want to use it yeah um so once now that i've snorkeled in other places i can now say that i the overall experience most snorkeling was amazing however i just feel like there was not enough fish but as you can see in the youtube video the water the reef everything was just so beautiful um i want to say we snorkeled maybe about 30 minutes and then we got back onto the boat and everyone everybody was having a good time even though there was quite a few of us um i didn't feel over congested or anything like that but then they said we're taking you to the sharks and the rays so apparently there was a section in the there's like an area around there that is like the nurse sharks and the stingrays come here and they hear that they like the boat motor sound so they follow it and they feed them and they're interacting with people all day there was multiple boats there in that same area and it was basically like the same thing now that we have gone to the water they're like okay let's jump into a pile of sharks and stingrays and i was like no i'm not doing that so i think you got in first yeah it the was water actually, was very it was actually very calm, clear water it was calm beautiful water. it was only about three four feet deep so obviously the shallow it's not going to be you as took choppy off your flippers and your life jacket and all, all that well, you left your life jacket i kept mine on because i didn't want the stingrays touching my feet yeah my so legs. there was I think out of all the experience, definitely a lot of sharks, a lot of uh, stingrays that I was Huge. expecting a couple, but no, there was Hundreds, a lot. There was, like, there was, I mean, it's just like as soon as you got in or as soon as they started feeding them, they were just all around. But once another boat got there and, you know, it kind of like some of them went to the other boat, yeah. some of them stayed here, but there was still plenty to take video. I mean, anytime you reached out, you were going to either touch a stingray or a shark for sure um some the of the sharks guys were like this big yes They're like baby nurse sharks some of the guys the guides they would actually pick up the stingrays and let you pet them if you yeah, wanted to I, um they would let you take pictures with them they would hold them up with them and uh we didn't do much of that i think we took maybe a picture or two but that was pretty much it i, um, I was just freaked out because i'm like can't you die from doing this but it was still fun and there was a medic next door so that that kind of just told me like somebody could die no it's not that bad so but overall amazing amazing experience once you finish um you get i think we were there maybe 20 30 minutes as well and you go back to that island where you first were at and that's where you start to eat your lunch um and straight wrong what wrong what do we do there was a surprise oh the surprise so before you go eat lunch you go to a surprise so if you want to know about the surprise, keep watching. If you don't, don't, you can go ahead and skip ahead and we'll put the time that you can skip ahead to. So that way you don't know about the surprise. So moving forward, spoiler alert, the surprise was going to the other side of the island. So they would take you to the other side of the island and it was, they were explaining how there was some hole underneath the island and that it's really deep. Like um, it kind of like pulls like debris in, it pulls fish in stuff like that um but anyways so they told us that there was a type of fish that lives in there so they said let's go let's feed the fish so everybody was kind of like all right what what's gonna happen right 
So, Mind you, everybody was already getting rum punch at this time. Yeah, so we were already drinking rum punch at this time. I mean, mind you, it was like 10 minutes of from going from one side of the island to the other side. It was like 10 but minutes. Still. But um, yeah, they were serving the rum punch pretty quick, and it felt like shots were being taken pretty quick. Anyway, so once you got to the other side, they started handing out baits. Um, some fish, maybe about four to six inches, depending on the size of the bait. But they told you to hold out your hand like this, and they would put the tail between your finger, so you grab the tail of the bait, and you would hold it outside of the water, and you would hold it like this. They said, do not hold it like this. Hold it flat above the water, about maybe six to 12 inches above the water, and just wait. So after maybe about 15, 30 seconds, uh, all Giant of a sudden, shark comes. a mermaid popped out of the water, and no, I'm just I'm kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> no, so, a tarpon would actually come out of the water, Huge grab, like, like the mouth was like, and it would grab the bait. Once it hits your hand, it would close its mouth and just take the bait from your hand. So, that was really cool. That was really awesome. I did it twice. Um, they gave me two bait. Um, let me do it twice. Some kids loved it. A lot of people loved it. I mean, you had people on both sides of the boat um, doing it. Um, there was at least, you know, 10 people doing it at one time, uh, the fish were coming up, the tarpons were coming up, taking all the bait from our hands, and it was pretty cool. Um, I would say it was a very good surprise. It was very <laughs> unexpected, and very. it was it was pretty cool. Um, like I said, spoiler alert, if you guys did not want to know they, about they it. They said it was like a surprise for us. Yeah, it was okay. a surprise. And like, like we said, when you book the cruise or when you book the excursion, it does not tell you that this is part of it. So it's kind of something they do on the side, you know, kind of hopefully for maybe getting some tips. tips and stuff. But yeah, for sure they're good. Um, so yeah, end of surprise. So this would be where we catch everybody up if you want to skip the surprise. So after all of that, we went ahead and eat head lunch. back to and the pier and we get off and we eat lunch. So those orders you placed, you actually walk into the restaurant, like we said earlier, you find your name, your number, whichever it is, and, and you... Food, they would bring out your food. They would start bringing out your food per name or number. And they had I, a, I think they had like a few restrooms, and that's where a lot of the girls were changing. You and, change, you wash up, yeah. stuff like that. There was no... So, I don't think there was showers. I don't think there was showers. A lot of bathrooms. people were like rinsing their face and their hands because there's salt water and you're about to yeah. eat. And so, But anyways, for those that don't care, we just started eating, you know. I don't know, but I didn't. We uh, ate, got back on the boat, did the 45 minute back to the port, and surprisingly, we did have about an hour or two to kill. Um, however, this was our first cruise, so we were like, oh, we gotta get back in the boat because it might leave. Um, but you, we could have shopped, or because they did have a lot of stores to shop there, and um, we literally just got. The tenders, I believe, run every 30 minutes, so we got on one and just got back in the boat, went to the room, showered up, and took a nap. Don't forget, for your first time cruisers, you do need your sell and sign card to get back okay. on the tenders and go back, so do not forget those. So guys, that was our take on uh, the Belize tour, which was Highly recommended. sharks, rays, and reefs, and snorkeling, and food, and stuff, so... Um, It'll be linked below when the in the description box um, to this exact excursion. Um, I know a lot of people talk about it in the Facebook group, so. It was, yeah, for sure. It was, I would do it again, I would. It was totally fun, would. totally worth it. Um, you know, some tips we're gonna release on some of our other videos. Um, we'll talk about it, maybe what to do in Belize, what you can do um, instead of doing that excursion. We'll also probably talk about. We will be trying a local excursion in september so that's will come soon so we are going to try different things um one thing we did um learn is that it is cheaper to do local and it is cheaper to book on the side but the boat will leave without you if you are not part of a carnival crew or uh, carnival excursion and the excursion does not make it back on time you are on your own so but it's okay. But for the most part, the locals are really good about getting you back. They're they have really, a reputation to keep up for, so. Yeah, they got, this is, this is literally their income, so they have to leave good service, so. But besides that, our excursion went really well, and it was really fun. It was worth it. It was an experience we hadn't done before. Um, besides that, guys, 
like our video, comment, subscribe, share it, help us out. Uh, we're going to continue making videos, making videos as long as and you guys want them. If you don't want them, go ahead and uh, leave that comment on your... That you still want them. <laughs> don't comment. Yeah, just don't. Just give a thumbs up. So yeah, guys. Um, just let us know what else you guys want to talk about, what you guys maybe have questions on. Maybe there's a certain uh, topic you guys want us to figure out. But we are having a couple more cruises booked in the next two months. So we will have, you know, maybe we can go answer some of those questions and go find out ourselves in person or if you guys have any tips or any um recommendations let us know besides that thank Thanks, you for guys. watching cruising through life with noe and emily yes